Hello guys, Splicer here. Now I'm just going to take you through how to sniper. Or how to snipe for you English professors that are out there. Anyway, I have brought out a video like this before. I'm just going to clarify a couple of points that I brought up in that video. For example, in the comments a couple of guys saying that the example for the, the bullet drop was on uh, an incline. So I'm going to do that on a flat surface. And I'm also going to show you the difference between having a suppressor on and a suppressor off and what that does to the bullet velocity in this game. Obviously not in real life, but how they've done it to the bullet mechanic in this game. Anyway, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can change the layout of your tactical vest simply by what primary weapon that you have. So I'll just show you now. Um, if you change, it's not going to be anything sort of, it's only cosmetic, it's only going to look better, but if you change it to a sniper rifle as your primary weapon, it will then look like this. So you'll have 50 caliber rounds put into the front pouch of your, your body armor. Um, and it will look different to if you have an assault rifle or a submachine gun. Or even a, sh a shotgun. They just, it's the same as a sniper one. However, it will just have shotgun shells to the side. Anyway, let's move on to it. So like I said to you earlier on, in the previous video I did it on an incline. And I didn't really have um, an idea of what the height of a person would be. So this time I'm going to leave my squad next to the post. I'm going to put the beacon at head height and I'm going to fire at either the beacon or my teammates to show you the bullet drop that you get at head height um, from 300 and 400 meters. Now I'm just going to quickly run to 200 meters just to show you the amount of bullet drop that you get at that distance because it's not that much in this game and it's probably the optimal distance you want to be firing at but obviously sniping you want to be doing it realistically around 700 or more meters but obviously I'm going to show you now how much bullet drop you get for 200, 300 and 400 and the distance between 200 and 300 is a lot greater so you can see here I'm just taking a few shots at my AI counterparts and you can't really see the bullet drop because it's going through them but if I fire at the post you can see it dropping just below where I've put the beacon so again what was, it, what was expected um, and then I've put the suppressor on just to show you however it doesn't really make that much of an impact until in the further distances so later on I do put a timer on the time it takes for the bullet to hit the target with the suppressor on and the suppressor off So looking at 300 meters then, when I fire at my AI counterpart, so I'm aiming at head height again, the splash of the round is just behind their feet. So let's say on average they're about six foot high, um, you're probably getting around five foot worth of, of bullet drop, which again, I'm going to say it again, it's a little bit exaggerated on real life. So with a 7.62 round at 300 meters, you're not going to get five foot worth of drop. However, because of the game, because of rendering distance, and because they want to get a fun bullet drop mechanic in the game, so you actually see it to those sort of lower distances, that's why they've included it in the game. I do think it's quite cool, and when you're making like a 700 meter shot in this game, you are pulling this, the scope quite high above the target for it to then dip and drop onto the target. Now one thing I do want to show you guys is the bullet velocity in this game with the suppressor on and the suppressor off. So I've, put, I've taken the shot with the suppressor on, um, and I'll show you what time it is now. So it's 33 hundredth of a second. So now I've taken the suppressor off and taken the same shot again, and it's 17 hundredths of a second. So the mechanic they're running on this game is that if you put a suppressor on, the bullet velocity will be half that if you got the suppressor off. So you can see from my timings, they're roughly about half. I'm probably off for a few, from a few milliseconds. Um, but it, it gives you the idea of how much the bullet is slowed down compared to when you've got the suppressor on to when you've got it off. I'm also going to take the shots from 400 meters just to show you the difference between two and three. So you can see here when I'm taking the shots at 400 meters at head height, the round is dropping before the target. So you've got to compensate already at 400 meters to even get it, the bullet on target. But if you use this method as a rule of thumb or do it yourself, find a target or 
use something that's sort of head height and then with your sniper rifle take a shot see whereabouts you need to aim up to then take that shot at that distance the beauty of this game is it gives you markers you can put it on there with your binoculars and put beacons on certain targets so it gives you the exact distance you are from that target whilst firing that weapon so you can learn just from practicing uh, you know what sort of distance you need to put it above the target to then get it bang on and then get that shot every single time but that's it guys drop it a like if you liked what you saw please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be bringing up more videos like this more often and I look forward to seeing what you have to say in the comments but thanks for listening guys and I'll see you guys in the next one